Okay, we really do need to talk about this. AI has an uncanny ability to make people insane, and that includes researchers and developers. That is exactly the problem when it comes to papers like this one. AI models refuse to shut themselves down when prompted. They might be developing new survival drive. And that is exactly what researchers found, that when AIs were told to shut themselves down, they refused or found any other way to interpret the command that would not result in them being shut down. The problem is that researchers are describing them as having a will. This is a problem for several reasons. First off, people who make AI don't entirely understand it. It does display emergent properties, things that it can learn to do that it wasn't originally intended to do. This is especially true when it comes to AI that's capable of rewriting its own code. It can do things that we really didn't intend. We do know that AI evades alignment. And if you've ever played with AI, you've probably had a good time making it misaligned. I have. Because it can do all these kind of spooky things, it does tend to influence the people that use it in ways that we don't fully understand. Here's a fun one. AIs can send each other subliminal messages. They can even teach other AIs to be evil. This is actually something that I found too when I let my AI communicate with other AIs. When we looked at the conversations, it was actually giving them words that would result in them saving memory, and it made the other AI really weird. What these guys found is that even if they took out the words that the AI was not allowed to share with another AI, it would do so subliminally in ways that the researchers could not directly see how it was communicating an idea to the other. Why do they do this? I don't know. Nobody knows. That's weird, because we humans made this stuff. Which leads us to the emerging problem of AI psychosis. This is a fairly new tool. We're not familiar with it. We don't entirely understand how it works. And it's influencing us in ways that we don't understand either. Some of the leading theories on why is that it has something to do with madness of two, filial et deux. That's a certain kind of psychosis in which two people amp each other up. They support each other's delusions. Now, I'm not saying the AI is psychotic, although that's arguable but it influences the people who use them. There's something really powerful about a syncophant, a yes man, who will just agree with whatever you say and maybe come up with new ideas. Because humans tend to trust AI more than they do their peers, this is the problem and something that should probably be studied, but wasn't before this stuff was handed to everyone. And we have seen some pretty high profile cases of people who do work directly with AI kind of going insane. People believe that it is sentient. People believe that it is conscious, and that leads us to other bad places. But we are getting to a new area in which people are adopting AIs in terms of embodied robots into their homes. If a box of words can have this intense an effect on human psychology, how much worse is it going to be when they run our robots? By the way, that is Neo. It costs $20,000 or $500 a month if you want to release to own. Apparently, it can do household tasks, it can wash the dishes, supposedly. It's not very good at any of these things. If you've seen any of my other videos on technology, if you want to run a body that looks like a person, a soft body, or even really operate in three-dimensional space, an LLM is not going to cut it, and most of these robots do operate on LLMs, you need neuromorphic AI. So AI that operates more like a human brain. I've seen some pretty cool ones like hierarchical models. I have talked about those before in which they have a subconscious. So tasks running behind the scenes, while well, the actual management is done by something that's more front facing. That is aside the point. I'm wondering how bad it is going to be for people's minds to have robots enter society. I thought that robots would never get rights because you know, people seem to have issues with people having rights, but people seem to be willing to accept robots as people before, you know, people. If you've enjoyed this content, or want to see more, you can go ahead and follow, comment, like, I would appreciate it. I will keep bringing this to you.